हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स वेरिएबल एंड पार्शल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर अंकित आचार्य एंड एंड टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट डिफरेंशियलिटी एंड एनालिटिक फंक्शन इफ यू रिमेंबर इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी डिस्कस अबाउट फंक्शन ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स वेरिएबल्स एड वी सॉल्व सम ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल्स आफ्टर दैट वी डिस्कस अबाउट लिमिट कंटिन्यूटी एंड वी सॉल्व सम ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट एग्जाम्पल सो नाउ टूडेज टॉपिक इज फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज डिफरेंशियलिटी एंड फॉर दैट एज यू ऑल नो दैट Uh, last lecture we discuss about the definition uh, so if f dash z 0 if this limit exists delta z tends to 0 limit f of z 0 plus delta z minus f of z 0 upon delta z if this limit exists uh, then we can say that function is differentiable at point uh, z 0 okay and uh, if this limit does not exist then function is not differentiable so let's start with very simple example and uh, uh, so let's start with very simple and important example so this is our uh, first example for differentiality show that f of z that is equal to mod z square is continuous but not differentiable at each point in the plane so to prove continuity it's quite easy because of f of z this function uh, this function f of z that is equal to mod z square and what is mod z square mod z square is nothing but x square plus y square if we take z is equal to x plus i y okay as you all know that Uh, let z is equal to x plus i y in each and every case we are taking so in that case mod z square is x square plus y square and this x square plus y square uh, being a polynomial okay being a polynomial so f of z is continuous okay f of z is continuous because polynomial function is continuous everywhere okay so now our next target is so now our next target is to prove that this function f of z that is equal to mod z square is not differentiable okay so first of all what is my definition for differentiality here i am finding uh, differentiality at point 0 so delta z tends to 0 limit okay uh, delta z tends to 0 uh, f of z plus delta z minus f of z upon delta z right now f of z plus delta z means what f of z plus delta z so mod z plus delta z whole square mod z plus delta z whole square minus mod z square upon delta z okay now uh, what is z plus delta z if we take z is equal to x plus i y so what is mod z square mod z square that is equal to x square plus y square and if we take z plus delta z okay what is z plus delta z easily you can understand z plus delta z that is x plus delta x plus i into y plus delta y and if i want to write mod z plus delta z whole square uh, that can be written as x plus delta x just try write here okay and that is equal to Uh, x plus delta x whole square plus y plus delta y whole square okay so now instead of mod z plus delta z whole square i can write x plus delta x whole square plus y plus delta y whole square and instead of mod z square i can write x square plus y square okay so this equal to uh, delta z tends to 0 uh, limit x plus delta x whole square plus y plus delta y whole square minus uh, x square plus y square upon delta z delta z means delta x plus i delta y okay clear and now uh let's simplify this function first of all so delta z tends to 0 limit uh this is x square plus 2x delta x plus delta x square plus y square plus 2y delta y plus delta y whole square minus x square plus y square okay and upon uh delta x plus i delta y so first of all you can easily understand that this x square and y square will be cancel out okay 
so the remaining part is 2x delta x so delta z tends to 0 limit or 2x delta x plus delta x square plus 2y delta y plus delta y whole square upon delta x plus i delta y okay and uh, first of all if we are taking path along x axis okay our first path is taking along path x axis so in that case delta y that is equal to 0 right in that case delta y that is equal to 0 okay only we have delta x so first path we choose uh, path 1 along x axis okay so in that case clearly delta y that is equal to 0 so we have limit delta x tends to 0 limit uh, just try to understand from here now we have only 2x delta x plus delta x square okay and upon delta x okay so 2x delta x plus delta x square and upon delta x and that is equal to uh, delta x tends to 0 limit or uh, 2x plus delta x and that is equal to 2x okay now choose path 2 path 2 along y axis along y axis so in that case uh, delta x is equal to 0 so delta y tends to 0 limit uh, now delta x is equal to 0 so that is why now we have 2y delta y plus delta y square ok and in denominator uh, i delta y so 2y delta y plus delta y square and upon i delta y and that is equal to delta y tends to 0 uh, limit okay uh, 2y plus delta y into 1 upon i so 1 upon i that can be written as minus i okay so just i write here uh, minus i okay uh, so final answer is minus i 2y and clearly uh, this two are different value okay 2x along the x axis we get the value 2x along the y axis we get the value minus i 2y so clearly this two limit are different so limit does not exist so we can say that this function is not differentiable at any point okay uh, now next concept very important concept of this chapter throughout the chapter analytic function so just try to understand first of all definition because definition is also very important a function f of z is said to be analytic okay at a point z is equal to z0 if f of z is differentiable at point z is equal to z0 and at least in some neighborhood of z is equal to z0 so that means what analyticity is more stronger condition than differentiality uh, that means if if we are checking uh, differentiality that means if we are checking differentiality at point z0 so first of all your function must be differentiable at point z0 but also in some neighborhood neighborhood means uh, we, ha we have to take a circle with the uh, center z0 and with any small radius epsilon or r okay so in this neighborhood of z0 at all points function must be differentiable so you can understand that our first step is limit if limit exists then we can discuss about continuity if continuity exists then we can discuss about differentiality and now if differentiality exists then we can discuss about analyticity okay so this analytic function is a totally new concept for all the student and that is more stronger condition than differentiality right once again i i try to explain you that if uh, z0 if function is differentiable at z0 and also in some neighborhood of z0 at least one neighborhood of z0 in that neighborhood function must be differentiable at all points okay now next uh, some of the important definition entire function a function f of z is said to be entire function if it is analytic everywhere in the finite plane and uh, singular point a point where function fails to be analytic it's called is called 
singular point okay so now next uh, because by the definition we cannot check every time that function is analytic or not analytic okay it's quite a uh, difficult method so for that uh, the important theorem cauchy riemann theorem very important theorem the necessary and sufficient condition for the function w equal to f of z that is equal to u x y plus i v x y to be analytic for all values of z in a region r uh, this two condition must be satisfied okay the first condition is all the partial derivative must be exist right del u by del x del u by del y del v by del x del v by del y all the partial derivative must be exist and second condition is very important uh, del u by del x that is equal to del v by del y and del u by del y that is equal to minus del v by del x if this two condition satisfied okay uh, this two equations are called uh, cauchy riemann equation in a short form we call it cr equation okay so these two equations are called cr equation del u by del x that is equal to del v by del y and del u by del y that is equal to minus del v by del x okay then we can say that function is analytic right and if function is analytic uh, we can easily find out the f dash z f dash z is nothing but uh, del u by del x plus i del v by del x okay so Uh, to find out that function is analytic or not for that we are using cr equation so let's solve some of the important example so let's start with very simple example check whether the following functions are analytic or not what is my function function is z bar so f of z that is equal to z bar what is z bar z bar that is equal to x minus i y okay and uh, that's why what is my u compare every f of z compare with u plus iv okay so u is equal to x and uh, v is equal to minus y right so del u by del x uh, del u by del x that is equal to 1 uh, del u by del y that is equal to 0 del v by del x that is equal to 0 and del v by del y that is equal to minus 1 okay so clearly you can understand that cr equations are not satisfied because for cr equation this two must be equal del u by del x and del v by del y here del u by del x is 1 and del v by del y that is minus 1 so clearly del u by del x that is not equal to uh, del v by del y so cr equations are not satisfied so the given function f of z okay uh, we can say that cr equations are not satisfied okay uh, for analytic function both the cr equation must be satisfied if one of the cr equations is dropped then function is not analytic okay so the given function f of z that is equal to z bar is not analytic okay and now uh, next function f of z that is equal to e raised to z right uh, f of z that is equal to e raised to z so that can be written as e raised to x plus i y now e raised to x plus i y that can be written as e raised to x into cos y plus i sin y okay and that's why u is equal to e raised to x cos y and v is equal to e raised to x sin y okay u is equal to e raised to x cos y and v is equal to e raised to x sin y now del u by del x find out all the partial derivative del u by del x that is e raised to x cos y uh, del u by del y that is equal to uh, minus e raised to x sin y uh, del v by del x that is equal to e raised to x sin y okay and del v by del y that is equal to e raised to x cos y okay so you can see that del u by del x that is equal to del v by del y del u by del x that is equal to uh, del v by del y and uh, del u by del y that is equal to minus del v by del x cr equations are satisfied okay so that's why the given function f of z that is equal to e raised to z is analytic function and now function is analytic uh, you can easily find out f dash z okay but to find f dash z Uh, first of all see in your question that if they told us that find f dash z only in that case you have to find out f dash z 
otherwise you don't need to find out f dash z okay differentiation of f of z you don't need to find out suppose they told uh, suppose they tell us about only check whether the given function is analytic or not but he, here in each and every case we find f dash z so what is f dash z formula for f dash z uh, that is del u by del x plus i uh, del v by del x uh, find uh, put both the value del u by del x that is uh, e raised to x cos y okay e raised to x cos y and plus i del v by del x that is e raised to x sin y okay and uh, find out the value of uh, f dash z in terms of z for that we are taking x is equal to z so this method that you have to remember uh, take x is equal to z and y is equal to uh, 0 okay so that's why you can easily understand cos 0 uh, cos 0 1 e raised to z sin 0 0 so f dash z that is equal to e raised to z okay clear so this is my answer final answer f dash z that is equal to e raised to z okay so in today's lecture just we discuss about differentiality uh, analytic function and we solve some of the important example so thank you